Good day, co-teachers. So welcome back to another video tutorial on making quizzes or examinations. So we're here in the third part of this, uh, or fourth part, I can't remember, the, of the video tutorial on making quizzes. So we're done with setting up the quiz, individual MCQ quizzes, individual true false questions, individual short answer questions on Moodle quizzes. We are done with the MCQ with icon format importation to question bank, true false gift format importation to question bank. So for this um, video tutorial, we are going to focus on the short answers question quiz with the gift format so just like true or false gift format uh, we have the same guidelines the same file format only that there is slight difference slight difference and easy to follow okay so again first we need to encode our questions on the word document and after encoding it and uh, this would be the um, format or the guideline i should say the guideline in encoding your short answer quizzes to be imported in the question bank through gift format okay so the statement the question maybe then followed by space Okay. Then the open curly bracket followed by an equal sign followed by the answer. Okay, remember that this is a short answer uh, question or quiz. So your students will be encoding uh, with maybe their own letter cases, whether uppercase or or lowercase so your system might be strict with uh, or sensitive with the cases so you should encode possible um, combinations like capital on capital letters and the first well, by small letters or all capitalized or I may suggest that if you want to be strict you should include it in the instruction. Like for example, answers should be encoded or typed in uh, all uppercase letters. Okay, so there will be no problem or lesser concerns when answers will be encoded or will be um, validated later on by the system. Okay, so this is the format. If, for our short answer quizzes. Again, statement or the question followed by space, followed by the open curly bracket, equal sign, followed by the word or the words of the correct answer. And other fonts of the same correct answer. Okay, and yeah. If I forget space or spaces in between the um, questions or statements are very important. So the system will give page breaks in each questions, but you can edit it later. Uh, this is also to prevent the system in reading your question as one instead of three questions. So you need to uh, put spaces in between the questions as statements. If this is three questions, there would be two spaces in between three questions. Okay, so then after encoding it this way, save it as a TXT format again. 
It's like what we had earlier. Check for location to save. Then this one should be txt file. And if I may use already this one, okay. Since I have uh, made this one earlier, I won't save it anymore. Then just click save if you're if it's your first time. Okay, that's another. That's one way, and the other way is to copy the whole document, paste it in a notepad. Again, put some spaces in between. Okay. Oh, I made two just to make it sure. Sorry. Save. Okay, I can close this one already. And Let's proceed to our LMS. On our LMS and the course page, click the course management gear or button, select question bank, go directly to question category. Okay, so we have a, sh a short um, video tutorial in the use of categories every creation of quiz. So just scroll down, then on the add category area, choose a parent category, or you want it to be under, like for example, if you have four terms, you can make other parent categories. Then um, name your category. So finals, uh, SA for short answer. Uh, quiz four. So that would be the name of the category wherein our short answer quizzes will be under. Click add category. Then we're going to ensure. Okay, sorry, let's go back to categories. Let's ensure our category is made. Okay, with zero number, which means there are no questions yet under this category. So to put the question or to import the question that we have made in our TXT file, click import. Then on this file format, click gift format. Then on the general section, Look for the category. So here it is. Finals as a quiz for click. Then leave other uh, options as, the, as default. Then when the import questions from file, you can either drag your text file here on this box or click choose a file. Then Click upload the file to browse your location. Click choose file and click the TXT document. Short answer. Click open. There it is. Then click upload. And once you have already uploaded it, click the import button. Okay. So our questions, the questions are already imported to the question bank. Okay. If you want to ensure it, just click continue. And we're going back to the question bank section. And this is the category finals as a quiz for there are three questions. So we're not done yet. I can't use it yet. Let's go back to the course page. Then click turn edit on. Then choose a section, choose a topic where you are going to 
make an activity or the quiz. Click text, add activity or resource in the activity picker or chooser. Locate the quiz, click add, and fill up the necessary uh, information. So name the quiz finals. Reach for then ready we're ready for me to read this if not um, search for my quiz on setting up quizzes I mean look for the que for the video with <laughs> setting up quizzes rather then click if you're already done with this option so you have set it correctly based on your um, one thing, click save and display. And you can put up your quiz questions by clicking edit quiz. Then click add. It's from a question bank. Click from question bank. Then locate for your category. So it's finals as a quiz for. Click it, then the questions will appear. It's either you manually select the questions that you, uh, that you want to be included in your quiz, or if you want to include all of the questions, just click the box at the top of the questions and click add selected questions to the quiz. And there it is. Your questions are ready on your quiz. Okay, so again, edit the maximum grade depending on the number of points you're going to give for this, uh, for this quiz or for for the for per item I should say and click save okay and if you want to have a preview of the questions how will they look like uh, so I guess we'll take it this area gives you a preview of how the student will see your questions and they are going to write it here okay so my okay then if you want to have a preview of this one just click save uh i mean just click the name of the quiz then preview quiz now and the cover of the philippines let's try answering the quiz oops Next page from the top. Yes, Kazan City. Click next. Seven, twelve, eighteen, ninety-eight, and click finish attempt. And if you want to see. The questions again, just click return to attempt. And if you're done, sure with the answers, click submit all and finish. Okay, and confirmation is needed. Click submit all and finish. And here, perfect score. Okay, so let's just go back. This would be the introduction page, introductory page, if you're done with the quiz. But I just add another tutorial. For example, if you want to mix up the types of quizzes um, in your, the, the types of questions in your quiz, 
Let's say, for example, we have here already the short answer quizzes, questions, or the identification ones, and you want to add uh, true or false and multiple choice. So what we need to do is just to click Add, then click from question back, then, okay, uh, look for the questions that you want to add. Or if you want to use your categories, uh, just like what we did earlier, click the category, select all the questions that you want to add. Okay, so we already have the short answer. We already have the multiple choice. Then if you want to add your true false questions, just click add, question back. Then look for the category which contains the true false questions. Then select all, then add selected questions to the quiz. So we already have three sets of questions in our quiz. We have our short answer, we have our true, our multiple choice order, and we have true false questions. Then just click save. And your quiz is set. Okay, so that's the way to import short answer questions using the GIF format in our question bank and putting it up in our quiz. So thank you for watching again this video tutorial. I hope it will be a big help, especially if you have uh, bulk questions for your quizzes and for your examinations online. So once again, let's email your colleague and thank you and God bless. Thank you for watching.